my grandfather recently passed away, leaving all of his old possessions with his son, my father. Most of my grandfather's clothes and appliances went to either charity or the trash can, with the exception of a box full of old photo albums and family records that contained almost the entire history of my dad's side of the family. My dad called many relatives to look over the massive collection of family history. As he was going over an old picture album with two of his distant cousins in our living room, I snuck a book full of old letters and journal entries up to my room. I was quite fond of early 20th century history and figured what better way to understand the period than reading some of the primary documents of that time. Most of the letters and entries talked about pretty mundane topics about housekeeping, gossip about neighbors, and vacation logs. Some of the stuff written during the Depression and World War II was interesting, but the highlight was some journal entries by someone named Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick's handwriting style was a bit more formal and poetic, as if he was writing a philosophy book instead of a personal journal entry. He talked about how he and his grandfather were obsessed with life after death when they were both young, and how they were both searching for a way to achieve immortality with the resources they had. Some of the later entries were written as if Nick had slowly gone mad, making incoherent rants on the spirit cult and mechanical traps of the soul. Next to the final entry was an old photo, of which I assumed to be Nick dressed in a black suit and a bowler hat. Beneath the photo were the words, protect me first, then I will protect you. This was top level weirdness to me and none of the other books in the box had any references or photos of this Mr. Nick character. I left the book in my room and went back downstairs to see if my dad knew anything about this guy. As I reached the ground floor, I could see my dad waving away from the doorway to his cousins. However, there was a third man walking with them to their car, sporting the same black suit and bowler hat as Mr. Nick had in the photo. My dad closed the door, and I had asked him who the man in the hat and the suit was. He told me that it was one of my grandpa's old friends stopping by to pay his respects, noting that he looked very young if he knew my grandpa for as long as he said he did. I ran back to my room and flipped to the page where Mr. Nick's photo was. He had vanished, along with the text beneath it. There was, however, two words that had taken its place. Thank you. Every few weeks now, I look at that empty photograph, and each time, the image of my grandfather slowly fades into it.